welcome to my channel where we usually do art videos I'm 5'10 and I do not fit in the frame so today I thought we'd do something a bit more different I thought we'd do one of those chill relax paint sketch along with me kind of videos if the audio works because I'm recording it on my smartphone I thought I would do one of those narrated kind of style videos uh, I used to upload about last year, last summer and a lot of you actually said you really liked them and keep asking me to bring them back Maybe that's a bit better? I don't know if you can tell my camera's right about here and why are you so white? So, if all this works, that should be the tutorial and this should be the face cam. So, uh, I don't know if you have seen it, but I recently posted a uh, poll, a uh, voting thing on my community tab, on my channel. I'm just taping some tape to my arm so it doesn't tear up my paper. And I asked, since I wasn't getting the amount of views I usually do, what would you all like to see on my channel? Have you grown out of my content? And yeah, if there's something you'd like to see more. And times and times again, surprisingly, I get people asking me to do uh, these voiceovers that I used to do about last summer and I get a crazy ton of requests to just go slower slower and I went from making three to four minute videos which I can't deal with my banks today but yeah I started doing YouTube a couple of years ago with like three to four minutes speed paintings tutorials kind of things and now my typical video is about eight to nine minutes and i still get asked and uh, there goes my brush i still get asked to do uh even slower videos so i've never well i did do once a full-time uh painting tutorial with watercolors and it was like half an hour and nobody watched it that's better So I'm not really sure how this uh, is going to go now and apologies for my English, apologies for my accent and the audio is probably going to be very bad. I'm filming the main uh, screen like the sketchbook with my camera which also has awful audio and the cam is actually my smartphone. That's also where you get the audio from. So now, you know, I think I'm actually gonna do little thumbnails for this one. So I'm gonna split this in half, like so. Okay. That's about half. And I'm gonna split the other one in half again. so yeah okay now I think about what I want to do so I know I want to do like a misty forest and I want of these tiny ones and maybe a landscape because there was this amazing sunset a couple of days ago I liked to paint it I took a photo of it on my phone and I'm not really sure what to do here, you know? I think I'm gonna start with... I don't know, maybe some ultramarine? I said I want a misty uh, forest, kind of the ones you see all over the internet. I actually found this um, picture on one of the royalty free websites. I wonder how much you can hear of the pencil rubbing against the sketchbook. 
and looked really nice so I thought why not I've done it before with um, watercolors but never done it with watercolor pencils and I'm not really sure how the wet on wet blood is going to look so I roughly colored this battery are you still with me I it's actually a flip screen so I look up and I see what it's filming crazy but yeah I, what was I saying basically I'm just doing um, rough layer of ultramarine over on my bum left section I'm a fully grown adult and I have difficulty standing left from right yes um, now I need paper towels yeah I'm not the kind of person that prepares for things in advance apologies for that so if we can get just the water to flow do I have water? I think so and I ruined my nail polish, perfect. So, okay, I'm just going from the bum upwards. I want a rather flat wash, no gradient, no fancy stuff. Just left to right, right to left, up and down. I'm very, very, very gently uh, squeezing on the brush's handle to release a bit of water then I take uh, some ultramarine and I'm going to do a little batch of it on the other side of the notebook and I'm going to add a bit of orange to make it dark okay I get some water running on my brush and I activate this alternatively you can obviously use like a scrap piece of paper something you have extra leftovers of and you see what I do while it's still wet I just very gently go over it with um, this mix so it can bleed into the paper very lightly very gently just like that I usually always have the other side of my sketch, sorry, out of frame. I usually always have the other side of my sketchbooks with just swatches. I'll get this pencil out of the way. Uh, and color schemes I'd like to figure out, to work with, make something nice out of them. So that's why I usually don't show the other side of the page, it's just random doodles and blotches of color like that I'm just doing a little vertical line and then tap on either side I'm almost out of this color but that's alright because I think that layer is done maybe yeah I think I will do a bit more of that actually just very light marks using more water than actual pigment it looks weird on camera but it looks decent here and apologies for any flares or some changes of color you may see it's very cloudy outside there was actually a hailstorm yesterday in the country so thunderstorms hailstorms any sort of storms are not excluded to happen and the sky is pretty black considering it's early afternoon here oh and you always get seagulls flying around and running everything now I think I'm gonna get the use ultramarine I think I did and make another blotch of color sorry about the shakiness I have a heavy hand okay then I'll take some 
of the same orange and add more orange this time what's gonna happen is it's just gonna make it darker and I also use that because this is literally the biggest black pencil I have and shipping costs more than the actual pencil and that's why I haven't both a new one I'm going with a second layer I need more blue in this sorry okay mix 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 just go very randomly maybe one toe one right there if you notice I even start these loose ones like across and then just tap 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 because I do this fast because if I start overthinking well that looks bad I'm gonna make it look bad so if I go fast I don't have time to think of dumb things okay just something like that And for the final layer, I'm going to do on um, oops, on oh, blue. I'm trying to use up the pencils I never use. I usually always use Daniel Blue. If I have all of these other colors I never use, so might as well use them. Thick brown circle of ultramarine. And then another one with orange, a good amount of orange. I want this almost black. Then activate with my brush, take the color, and I'm actually going to do some trees now. I go a bit slower to make the shapes more like trees and not random letters of the alphabet I think the mix is a bit too light is it me? I think it's a bit way too light I'm gonna get some more orange then ultramarine is it still going? great because before when I only used to use my phone, it would black out one camera, thanks. It blacks out once it reaches three minutes. So I'm always checking whether I still have battery or not. You can see the orange through that, so I'm gonna add more blue just mixing colors at this point okay that's almost like black or at least a nice deep dark brown okay then tap 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 small or big small and tiny and then a big one the secret to nice trees, as if I can paint nice trees, is to just make them all different. Some are short, some are tall, some are skinny, some are chubby, just like humans. Okay, we're not making pre-manufactured trees, we're making random trees in our random forest. As many or as few as you want. I want a lot of trees in my forest. Maybe, yeah. Doesn't look too bad. I'm just having fun honestly at this point. I don't know, maybe if 
you end up liking this kind of format we can do it weekly or every other week i think i'm gonna go with black can green and maybe a bit of red you know what i'm actually gonna make the gradient right on the paper because i want to be dark so i cover the top in black then i get the what was it dark tailor green very gently and very lightly just fill in the whole page with it using a bit more pressure as I move downwards because I want a gradient so I want to go from one color to the next alright blend 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 I want this to be like misty melons I'm not sure A bit too vibrant but I think the black is going to need to basically make it look more normal well not normal but more muted so this time since I want it more muted I go from the top from the dark towards the light and it's going to bring some of that darkness down And I add more water since, again, I want this to be muted. I bring down some of the black. A bit more water here. Okay. And I'm gonna leave that one to dry. Meanwhile, I'm thinking about this. I'm really not sh not certain what to do with it. I don't know. We have this that's dark and that is dark. So I want to be light and a warm color. Maybe like a red or an orange. If I were to make a red or orange, what would I do? I'm going to start the ingredient this is some cat yellow use that on the bottom are you still recording yes you are okay now i'm switching to what is this dark chrome yellow okay i want a lot of this so I'm gonna color maybe I don't know two two thirds of the page with it bring it bring it down to that yellow we had yeah I like how this color looks and a bit of this orange I'm just going in rainbow order I guess whoever is the next darker Pencil in my set. Okay, this is dark cat orange, the same I mixed with the ultramarine for uh, the tiny misty forest thingy. And then I don't know if I'd go with red or an earthy tone. Yeah. No, I'm gonna go with Vene Venetian red. Venetian red. I really like this color. It has literally a crazy ton of different names for all the different brands. I think the pigment they use for it is red iron oxide, which is a fancy word for rust. Uh, I think it's also called Indian Red, I'm not sure, and Venetian Red, and my Kohi Norset calls this same one a reddish brown, but it's all the same color. I think I'll maybe do a slight hint of red pale geranium. 
just okay just at the top just outline it then get my water and I blend from light to dark okay I don't know how long this video will be or if anybody will watch it for a matter of fact that's actually a very nice gradient and I'm going to write down the colors I used because oh I don't need to I have it on video but I'm definitely going to use it for other videos it looks very nice this is almost ship uh, this is almost dry, so I'm going to add that green, I think. I, should I do the mountains in green or in blue? Blue is gonna look pretty. So I'll scratch that, we're not using it today. Dark blue. Random scribble, perfect. And very lightly color it up just the top part meanwhile I'm waiting for the red and orange one to dry clean my brush and blend this one out I'm just going to scramble motion circular. It's much easier to show this on video than explain it. Okay, I'm just giving it random angles to make it look like a mountain. I'm actually gonna add a bit here and take some of this color because it ended a bit too light right here. I'm just gonna quickly touch it up and fix it. Okay, that looks decent. Now I gotta wait for it to dry. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna grab the hair dryer. Perfect. There's the most beautiful pigeon ever. Like, I don't know if you can see him. He's like black but has a bit of red on under his neck and his eyes are orange and his head is like a Dalmatian. He's gorgeous. And I have the attention span of a three-year-old child. Back to us. I'm taking again this helium blue radish. And just doing another line and using a bit more pressure to make it a bit darker. And just coloring. You know, I haven't seen pigeons and literal angels because we only get seagulls and the little berries, not sure what you call them. So whenever I see anything different, I'm like, OMG, you still exist? So, yank the floor, but still. It's wet to the touch, but not soaking wet. There's a little hair I'm gonna get rid of, and then again I start to blend. I like using a circular motion as well. Just blend, blend, blend from the light towards the dark. Okay, then I go over that mountain line and just make it more prominent, I guess. Okay. And then blend this in with 
with the green. Dry. It feels dry. Uh -uh. Where's my blue? Right here. I should sharpen this thing, but I can't get up and get my sharpener. And I'm not even too sure where is I'm using much more pressure for this one as you can tell by how much the camera is probably shaking make it nice and saturated I could have done that a bit higher and probably would have looked a bit better maybe just maybe this is the zoomed in version of that one my brain works in very weird ways okay blend 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 bring it down don't overthink it because when i overthink i mess things up perfect Now, I don't know if to go with another layer, because 3 looks great. Should I? I don't know. Well, I'll figure that one out. I'm gonna figure out what to do with this. I did some palm trees recently, but I don't want to repeat myself, and I've done utility poles a crazy amount of time. So I'm not really sure what to do with that one maybe get some foliage just fall around it nah three branches done that tiny trees literally done that on the bottom hmm maybe a little town yeah I don't know I'm just gonna go crazy I, I want a big one right here. And by the way, this is just your normal pencil, like mechanical graphite pencil. And then maybe do a smaller one, like right here. And make this huge line then another one from the other side of the bigger one then I have them split like so and like so that's not looking too bad then like add some buildings maybe Just random shapes. Okay, and then maybe like I can add some white. I don't know how to get. No, that makes no sense. Maybe have a big one come across. No, from here, maybe, maybe, yeah, okay, something like that. I don't know, just trying random ideas. So we said a big one. I'm going extra slow because I have shaky hands. And I know I will mess this up. I don't know if you can hear my neighbors giggling. Well, giggling is better than fighting. That's what I always say. Since now. And get the random shapes for the town. Just some 
and buildings. Then the wires. Don't mess this up. All right. Then make them split again. Oops. Make them split again. Something like that. And then the one coming from, well, the sky, since the top is not visible. Something of the sorts and cover it all in. I could just use those fine liners to make my life a crazy ton easier. Yeah, sorry, I'm just... Should I? Well, I already started, so I might as well finish it. You know? You know, it didn't hit my brain that once I color the buildings, the big ball won't be visible anymore. Yeah. I'm not good. I overthink a lot, but I'm not good at it. Something like so. I know I could also get one of those extension pencils. Like little metal things you grip the pencil into and it's much easier, much more comfortable. But again, shipping is more expensive than the actual tool itself. By the way, I feel like I need to mention this because I always get asked. All of the supplies used, mentioned, shown in the video will be in the description box below. I always add it for every video because I always get that question. So just filling this up. Okay. Get some water. Why are you blue? Okay, that's clean. I'm trying my brush on the paper towel. I don't know if you can see. So I want this to be very dry, otherwise it's going to make the black not black. So just go gently over it to get rid of all of this unevenness, which is mostly my fault. Okay, finish this off like that bit more black there. Now very gently. Not bad. I feel like I should go with one final layer for this. Like, sorry not sorry, I did use black. My neighbors have guests. By the way, the house I live in doesn't have any insulation whatsoever, so you always know what the others are up to. And we always know what wear is, because yeah, we don't get wear insulation either. When it's freezing cold, it's freezing cold, and when it's crazy hot, it's crazy hot. I think the house is actually as old as I am. There's this big uh, plaque thing on top of the house. I can see it if I scoot up from the balcony. But I don't remember the exact year. So just trying to make 
this one uneven because that's what mountains do yeah I think I like it better now should I or should I not add stars and birds if I didn't it wouldn't be one of my videos I'm getting my classic white I don't know which camera to show this to focus 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 please I'm just getting some white wash take a bit a bit add literally two drops of water to the cap mix 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 like pancake batter i'm hungry i'm actually going to take this and cover the mountains then tap 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 don't go into the red please okay You know, I could have used the white for signing. I'm actually gonna. No. I'm gonna take some and sign these since all of the blondes are black. Close enough. Close enough. Now, should I or should I not? Add some birds here. Maybe just two. Make the wings a bit chunkier. They resemble birds remotely. Okay, now I'm gonna take away these spire clips that actually hurt my fingers and start taking off the tape. Slowly, opposite direction, please. This is actually the real time speed I take away tape with. I don't know why it's. There's a big black cloud. That's why the screen is black. Hold on. That's hopefully a bit better. And we tore it. Perfect. No. Medium heat. Now I'm gonna put it on high heat. Be careful if you're doing this. And I'm going to go over the whole page. What happened is hopefully it broke down the glue whenever you have something made from glue or tape stuck to something else you can use heat and then it doesn't tear anymore okay now on the side please i'm going in the opposite order in which i 
updated. Okay, you see how much easier it is now? By the way, if you're new, apologies. <laughs> but if you're new, I actually made an art hack video, like 12 hacks or something like that, where I cover all of these topics. So what to do if it's stuck, how, yeah, rip. It's just a helpful video if you want to check it out. Yeah, I jinxed myself, didn't I? I can't pick it up with these nails. Okay. I'm gonna fix these. Slowly. Slowly. If it does tear, I'm going to hurry up because it's going to start raining any moment now. Get clean water. Add water beneath where it tore down. And then press it. Like, press it hard. And it's going to get the fibers to reattach. And then the same here, be careful not to go into the color and press. Thank you all for watching. Special thanks to my patrons. I hope, I really hope you like this format. Please let me know. It's probably half an hour. And we'll see each other in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's, it's actually raining. <laughs>